Hello, in this video we will study about digestion of food in stomach. So basically this is the fourth tutorial of the Human Physiology Digestion and Absorption video series. Previously we studied about the digestions and the primary lecture and then after we studied about uh, digestions in mouth and then in this video we will study digestions of food in stomach. So we know that stomach is a hollow bag-like organs and that is connected with esophagus from upwards and with duodenum of small intestine and downwards. So this stomach it has some sort of like you know, structural lecture which we need to study first and then what are the chemical and mechanical digestion process is going to take place we have to study. Think about it that this is esophagus the last part of the esophagus so when the last part of the esophagus is connected with the stomach that part is called the cardiac part or this part is called cardia as because under the diaphragm this is the adjacent part of stomach with heart and that is why this is called cardiac part and the last part which is actually connected with the duodenum that is called pylorus that is called pylorus pylorus and there are two circular muscle that is called sphincter in these openings here there is a sphincter and also there is a sphincter that is called cardiac sphincter cardiac sphincter sphincter and this is pyloric sphincter this is pyloric sphincter so this sphincter is actually a circular muscular uh, opening from the cardiac part and the pyloric part because you know that the body of stomach it has three layer of smooth muscle so in the in the outermost layer there is a serosa and then longitudinal muscular layer and then circular muscular layer so these layers makes this stomach is most movable because it has a mechanical functions of stomach because you know that peristaltic movement that is called peristalsis uh, movement that continuous upward and backward movement inside the food that is a part of mechanical digestions of food that is done due to this muscular layer so three smooth muscular layer shape the outermost part of the stomach so the serosa the longitudinal layer of muscle and then circular muscle now you see that there is two curvature or the the curvature means you know the uh, circular movement the outermost curvature and the smaller one this outermost curvature is called greater curvature so this is the greater curvature and the smaller one this one is called lesser lesser curvature so the outside part of stomach that is called greater curvature and this one is laser curvature the adjacent part with the duodenum that is called pylorus and the sphincter is called pyloric sphincter and the outer part the upward part which is connected with esophagus this is called cardiac cardiac part of cardia and the hollow part of stomach that is called fundus or we say this is the body of stomach so greater curvature later curvature cardiac sphincter pyloric sphincter cardia and pylorus this is very simple explanation of the body of stomach now you think when when food moves from esophagus to stomach uh, usually food stays here for two to six hours two to six hours usually the length of the stomach the length of the stomach is can be 20 centimeter and 12 centimeter width it depends it varies and when food reaches into this hollow part 
what happens? There are a lot of things that is happening inside stomach. First, the mechanicalizations. So if you study about first thing is this mechanical, mechanical digestions, then we need to know that there is continuous backward to upward movement of stomach inside that is called peristalsis. So first we need to know that is peristalsis. Peristalsis. Secondly, from the parietal cell of stomach, it secretes hydrochloric acid. It secretes hydrochloric acid. So these hydrochloric acids, actually, what is the function of it? Number one, we can say it kills, it kills bacteria. It kills bacteria. Second, second thing is that it dissolves the mineral salt. It dissolves it dissolves minerals minerals and then number three it decalcifies decalcifies bones and then it's actually produce the acidic environment it creates it creates acidic acidic environment inside acidic environment so the first thing is that in stomach there are two types of activities like mechanical digestions and also chemical digestions. So before going to explain the chemical digestions, the mechanical digestion is that there is movement of stomach continuously and then it's squeezing and mixing all the food particles inside with the gastric juice. And this juice is secreted through uh, you should know the name that is gastrin hormone. So gastrin hormone activates this gastric juice that stimulations that creates the gastric juice and gastric gland secretes this gastric juice. Gastric gland is a circular gland. So gastric, gastric gland is actually a circular gland. Circular gland and it has four types of cells four types of cells every single cells it has a different secretions and this produce gastric gastric juice so gastric juice is the secretion of gastric gland which is actually stimulated by the gastrin hormone of stomach so this gastric juice mostly 99.45% is water but it has a lot of actions in case of um, digestions in stomach. So what happens first that when food comes through esophagus then firstly gastrin hormone activated gastric gland to secret gastric juice and then food is actually mixing with the peristaltic movement of stomach a continuously upward and backward movement which is called peristalsis and then parietal cell which is secreting hydrochloric acid firstly hydrochloric acid kills any type of bacteria which is present with the food and then it dissolves mineral salt decalcifies bones and then activate the acidic environment inside and then after after all these activities, the chemical response of the chemical digestion is continuously happening. What is the thing which is going on in, in chemical digestions? So I hope you understand this process. In case of chemical digestion, what happens first? That hydrochloric acid which was secreted. So chemical digestions. Chemical digestions. What happened first? In case of Number one, that is hydrochloric acid, it's secreted. It's secreted and it uh, creates the acidic environment. Acidic environment. And then after, when it creates that acidic environment, pepsinogen, pepsinogen and proreneen, Proreneen that will be activated as pepsin and renin respectively. So 
HCL actually activate pepsinogen into pepsin and proreneine enzymes into renin. So these are enzymes. Must remember thing that is pepsin and renin. These are the enzymes. So in case of chemical response, what is going to, ha going to happen? As we are studying about the digestions of food in stomach, so we have carbohydrate, protein and fat. So there is, firstly, there is no enzymes present in stomach which is amylolytic. So as there is no amylolytic enzyme present in stomach, so there is no digestion happens in carbohydrate. But in case of protein, I mean in case of protein digestions, there is a proteolytic enzyme and these are the proteolytic enzyme. I hope you can remember that carbohydrate requires amylolytic enzyme to be glucose, protein requires proteolytic enzyme and lipid requires lipolytic enzyme. So in stomach, there is no amylolytic enzyme presence. But in case of proteolytic enzyme, pepsin and renin are present. So what is their activity? At first, proteins, proteins will be hydrolyzed with water, hmm? with the presence of pepsin. With the presence of pepsin, that is very important. So protein hydrolyzed with the activity of pepsin and produce produce proteose proteoses and peptones proteoses and peptones mind it very simply that protein hydrolyzed by pepsin and then that will be produce and peptones secondly that milk casein milk casein that will be hydrolyzed also and will produce para casein para casein and this para casein will also will also produce peptones peptones with the activities of pepsin so here from para casein to peptones pepsin will work and here milk casein will be paracasin with that enzymatic activity of renin. So these very simple chemical reactions or chemical changes happens inside the stomach. As that is why I explained the mechanical digestion process previously and then chemical response. That is hydrochloric acid which is secreted from the parietal cell layer of stomach inside. Previously what happened? So we are swallowing food, so through the esophagus it enters to the stomach. So it enters to the uh, cardiac sphincter, then body of the stomach and then pyloric sphincter. What happens first, that when food mix with hydrochloric acid, it kills bacteria, it decalcifies bones, it dissolves minerals and it provides the acidic environment inside. So when uh, stomach is moving from every time peristaltic movement food is mixing with all these activities like gastrin hormone accelerate the gastric gland to secrete gastric juice and gastric gland is a circular gland which has four types of cells which has a different different uh, secretions these secretions starts inside the digestive activities so what happened hydrochloric acid activate pepsinogen to pepsin and proreneine to renin because pepsin and renin is the activating enzymes so pepsin will convert or hydrolyze proteins to peptones and proteus and again paracasin will again hydrolyzed with the activity of renin to produce milk casein will be paracasin and then paracasin will be pepsin i mean pro, uh, peptones with the activity of pepsin so very simply i have written things and also it is written on your book so i hope when you will study the whole process of digestions step by step you can remember so what is happening in mouth what is happening in stomach and what will happening I mean, will be happening in uh, small intestine after because after all the activities after all the activities when food 
is uh, mixing with all these things inside stomach, this is called chyme. This is called chyme. And this chyme is uh, partially, I mean, what is happening? There is no carbohydrate digestions. There is partly, di uh, partly digested protein and lipid also. There is no lipolytic fat or lipid digestion happens inside stomach. So after all these changes, this is called chyme, which is actually um, soup-like substance, which is semi-solid or almost liquid. And these chymes is coming through the small intestine at first, that will be coming through the duodenum. So the small intestine part will be discussed after this tutorial. The main function of this or the main purpose of this tutorial is to explain the process, the digestion process in stomach. So I hope you understand the very simple anatomy or the explanation of uh, stomach. I didn't actually explain in a medical aspect. Very simply, I just named the part of it that is uh, cardiac, fundus, greater curvature, laser curvature, sphincter and the part of the duodenum and the upper part is connected with uh, esophagus and then this is the chemical digestions you must remember one thing that what is the mechanical digestions and this is the chemical digestions if the questions comes like the explaining the process of digestions in in stomach then you must write things in this way that hydrochloric acid what is the activity and then how these enzymes converted into the activated uh, form and that is all from these uh, uh, tutorials and next video I'm coming up with the explanation of uh, small intestine take care stay well bye